In Los Angeles, I'm Kai Rizdal. It is Friday today, the 13th day of March. Good as always to have you along, everybody. It has been a year this week, huh? The virus and the markets and the Fed and, oh, by the way, the fate of the American economy. So in we dig on a Friday. Heather Long is at the Washington Post. We have gotten her on Skype. It's that whole work from home social distancing thing. Lynette Lopez is with Business Insider. Hey, everybody. Hi, Kai. Hi. So, um, Lynette, let me start with you. And uh, as I do from time to time on this segment, test my premise. Um, It felt to me a bit more economically scary this week. Discuss. Yeah, I think it felt scary because we are at a point with this virus where in order to fight it, we need to shut down social interactions. And financial transactions are essentially social interactions. Mm. So in order to fight this violence, we or, <laughs> this virus, virus yeah. this violent virus, we need to slow the economy. And that is why it's scary because now the whether or not this is going to slow, whether it's going to be a recession, that's not a question. And it has to be a recession for us to make sure that we're not spreading this right. virus. Right. You know, that's a good logic train. But, but Heather, let me ask you something. That word that Lynette used, slow, I would submit that what's happening and, and in fact, what will happen really soon is that this economy will, for all intents and purposes, stop. It's not going to be a slowdown. It's going to be a stop. Talk about that. You're exactly right, Kai. And that's what makes this really different from 2008. The good news is we don't have banks failing, at least not yet, like we did in 2008. But the really bad news is what you're describing, that the entire economy, with the exception of maybe the healthcare sector, is basically grinding to a halt right now. And that is having rapid and widespread effects on you know so much of this economy. And this week we did a piece on the layoffs have yeah. already started. And it's not just at the ports where the ships are coming in or you know at the travel agents who can are no longer getting bookings. It's also bakeries in Nebraska right. and you know restaurants. And so it's just it's it's hitting so much of Main Street faster than what we saw in 08. Lynette, change of gears. I want to talk about the Federal Reserve, and and I do not repeat not want to dig into the guts of the overnight repo market, but much was made Mm. yesterday of the Fed jumping in with a trillion and a half dollars of added liquidity, which we'll get to later in the program, that concept of liquidity, but added support for um, bank interactions. Um, It speaks to the changing nature of this crisis, right? Yeah, I I try to think of it as like a a, fi- a house on fire, right? Like if stocks <laughs> oh, crash, okay. if stocks crash, it's almost like you're maybe it's a small fire. You have like a you know you mess up the paint on your wall. When you get to the repo market, you're questioning whether or not that fire is getting into the guts of your house, right? And to and so the the fact that the Fed is putting up that liquidity is really important to make sure that the economy keeps going, but. Uh, you know, today in the president's speech, he didn't mm-hmm. say anything about helping Main Street. And that's really important, too. So um, we have a long way to go in terms of ensuring the economy keeps going. Do, do you think, Lynette, that it was promising? And, and I'm, I'm truly not being facetious here. Was it promising that the, the president did not pile on Jay Powell at his at his press conference today? I, you know, thank God for small miracles. Yeah, okay. um, uh-huh. It is. But the Fed is doing a lot of, of what it can do. And the thing is, this is a problem that is going to require the government to do something, yeah. not just the Fed, but the legislat- right. legislators to do something. And the Fed can and, only do so much. Right. And they're still going back and forth on that. I mean, you know, Secretary Mnuchin has spoken to Nancy Pelosi like 15 times today or something crazy like that. Um, Heather Long, let me ask you this. Is it possible a recession is already here and we don't know it yet? Uh, I think it's highly likely that a recession is here. The question now is really how long is it going to last? You know, we've been talking, is this going to be a V or a U-shaped situation where we're like totally down Mm -hmm. right away for March, April, and then we start to bounce back up in the summer? That's the hope. That's why the Congress is trying to work with the White House on some sort of stimulus package but the fear is this is going to turn into an L-shaped situation where you're down. You know, we're down here in March for the next two weeks and we stay down and we start yeah. to see these ripple effects that don't go away soon. Yeah. Uh, so imagine the graph, right? The graph is the economy going down and then bouncing back up quick. That's a V and the L obviously is self-explanatory. Um, I want to get both of you on this question. we got a minute and 15 seconds left. Lynette, what are you watching? What are you looking at? What's, what's your tell here on what's going on in this economy? I'm watching credit markets. I'm watching the energy sector. I'm watching companies that have a lot of debt and are vulnerable to, you know, missing debt payments, lots of layoffs, going bankrupt. I'm watching that. And I'm 
you know, watching <laughs> consumer sentiment, yeah. seeing if the president can formulate a plan that makes people feel confident. Heather Long, same question to you. What are you looking at? I think the number one thing you're watching is layoffs because that's um, showing you how this is going to be long lasting or not. I mean, that's a huge decision companies are making. Uh, if they're going to lay somebody off, that means they think this isn't going to end soon. Heather Long at The Washington Post uh, on Skype. Lynette Lopez at Business uh, Insider in our studios um, in New York. Thanks, you two. Thank you. Thanks, Kai. Have a nice weekend. Wash your hands. All that good stuff.